Hello and welcome to the show, coming to you from the deepest and darkest depths of Mogo. This is the Mogo Zoo and over the years I've worked on the show, every now and again we decide to revisit somewhere where I've already shot a story. And I shot the Mogo Zoo five years ago and in that time the zoo has got bigger and better than ever and today what I'm going to do is introduce you to some of the new members of the Mogo Zoo family. So don't go away because tonight's show is going to be wild. Now I promised I'd show you some new faces and how about that for a very handsome devil. This is Izuma, which is an African giraffe, as you can see. And along with some ostriches, zebras and oryx, they're in this savannah exhibit, which is what you would call your more common zoo animals. But what Mogo Zoo is really all about is conservation. And thank God for Mogo Zoo, because it hurts me to say that the majority of animals you're gonna see on tonight's show are actually endangered species. <laughs> and what a family album they make. Mogo are famous for their felines. And you can catch up with some of your long lost cousins. There are plenty of primates, some are a bit camera shy, while others are happy to put on a show. Jump onto a tour and learn a bit more, or just do things at your own pace. You're bound to catch something amazing. Hey, I could have used him in the slips. Here behind me is the Siamang gibbon, the world's largest gibbon. They are mainly found on the Malay Peninsula and can live to 30 or 40 years. They exist in tight-knit family communities. But if you get lucky, like me, you might even catch the Siamang gibbon song and dance routine. Take it away, folks. <laughs> Hey, and check out the little baby. He's trying to join in. It's hilarious. But just because you are in the jungle doesn't mean you have to go without your creature comforts. A cooey away at Brow Lee are three very private cabins that I'll have you going ape. This is the bower at Browley, a place that Sue and Mark built six years ago. It is a place you can have a song and dance about because it's a fantastic venue. And we're not in the middle of the jungle, but we are in the middle of a eucalypt forest, which is incredible. Is that the idea when you're sort of looking for the land? It was, Mike, because we wanted to do a, a couple's venue um, on the south coast. Uh, we looked for something that had nice bushland and lots of native bird life and animals, of course, but within close proximity to the beach, so they had sort of the best of both worlds. So, Mark, what's available for people to come and stay? We have, at this stage, three cabins, Mike. Uh, two of them designed specifically for romantic couples, and the third one is designed for, has an extra bedroom, so you can accommodate the mother-in-law from overseas or anybody else who might want along on the weekend. So, for the intrepid explorer, this is the place to be. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Brownlee is just over four hours' drive south of Sydney. Stay at... A bit later in the show, I'll be back here at Mogo Zoo for a night tour. And you can't get any closer to the animals than this. Oh, you want that one? Here you go. Here you go. Have a good look, a real good look, at the faces of these magnificent animals because they are on the brink of extinction. These are the Nepalese red pandas. And the horrible truth is there's more alive in captivity than there is in the wild. And there is only just over a thousand left on the planet. But you can help these guys out. Down here at Mogo Zoo, you can adopt one of these guys, one of these red pandas, for 50 bucks for the year. 
And I'm telling you, I reckon that's a pretty good deal. And I'll tell you what else is a good deal. Why don't you pick yourself up a copy of the Sydney Weekender magazine? Only $4.95 at your news agents. But... When the sun sets over the bower at Browley, I guarantee you will have a very, very peaceful night. This place is sensational, particularly after you jump in the two-person spa. As far as food is concerned, there's a couple of options. You can bring your own food and prepare it in the fully self-contained kitchen, or you can give Mark and Sue a call before you arrive, and they can organise you some food packages, which include everything from vegetarian, chicken, beef, and the one I've chosen tonight is the seafood for entree, six Clyde River oysters, and and some beautiful prawns wrapped in bacon and from main course Caesar salad and a magnificent piece of pepper encrusted Atlantic salmon with a mango and chili salsa all prepared by yours truly on the barbecue so while I'm eating in after the break you guys will be eating now